gentlemen, last year's best actor, Nicolas Cage. Oscar Wilde once pointed out that while we look to the dramatist to give romance to realism, we ask the actress to give realism to romance. The immensely talented women nominated tonight for Best Actress do just that and more. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role are Brenda Blethyn in Secrets and Lies. Who is this? She was born on the 23rd of July, 1968. At, sorry about this. Uh, yeah, at the Haven, Wells, Grange Avenue, Sutton, sorry. Look, I'm sorry, I know this must be a shock to you. Diane Keaton in Marvin's room. That's much love in my life. You know, I look back and I've had such, such love. They love you very much. No, that's not what I mean. No, no. I mean that I love them. I have been so lucky to be able to have loved someone so much. Francis McDormand in Fargo. I'd be very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd. Yeah. And I tell you what, from his footprint, he looks like a big fella. You see something down there, Chief? No, I just think I'm going to barf. Kristen Scott Thomas in The English Patient. I don't want to die in the desert. And I know exactly where I want to be buried. In our garden where I grew up, the view of the sea, you promise me you'll come back for me. Emily Watson in Breaking the Waves. It's great for you to come home. He will be coming home in ten days. You must learn to endure. You know that. Oh, I can't wait. The Oscar goes to... The Oscar goes to Francis McDormand for... It is impossible to maintain one's composure in this situation. What am I doing here? Especially considering the extraordinary group of women with whom I was nominated. We five women were fortunate to have the choice, not just the opportunity, but the choice to play such rich, complex female characters. And I congratulate producers like Working Title and Polygram for allowing directors to let, uh, allowing directors to make autonomous casting decisions based on qualifications and not just market value. And I encourage 
I encourage writers and directors to keep these really interesting female roles coming, and while you're at it, you can throw in a few for the men as well. <laughs> My family, friends, and colleagues here tonight and all around the world, they know exactly who they are. You know who you are. And I hope you already know how much your support and your care means to me. But I'm going to name three. The co-writer, director, and producer of Fargo, Mr. Ethan Cohen, who helped make an actor of me. His brother, Mr. Joel Cohen, who made a woman of me. <laughs> and our moon and our sun, Mr. Pedro McDormand Cohen, who's made a real mother of me. Thank you for acknowledging our work.